Okay, folks, this probably belongs more on my Patreon than it does here. Hey, I'm going to throw you a bone. <laughs> Global balance of population and power is shifting. Global balance of population and power is shifting. Uh, it's coming from Axios and the data is coming from the United Nations Population Fund. The distribution of people across the planet is changing pretty dramatically with populations booming in sub-Saharan Africa and shrinking in parts of Europe and East Asia, including China. Driving the news, according to the UN report, India will surpass China as the world's most populous nation by the middle of this year, if it hasn't already. China's population declined last year for the first time in six decades. The decades of strict population control measures helped push China's fertility rate 1.2 to the lowest in the world other than Singapore and South Korea. Most Asian countries have the, uh, the lowest fertility rates. Beijing is now encouraging people to have more children. You know, too late. China also has very little inward migration, less than 0.1%, which is also true for most Asian countries. Population is foreign born versus 15% in the United States. The United States is a, a country of immigrants. A big part of the reason the U.S. workforce is expected to continue to grow as China shrinks. China will increasingly face a similar challenge to Japan, where the population peaked 15 years ago. And the government is turning to automation and foreign workers to help care for elderly and stoke the economy at a much larger scale. The flip side, India's working age population is expanding a potential demographic dividend for an economy that's already the fastest growing in the G20 and could be the third largest in the world by 2030. Wow, third largest. Hmm. What do the BRICS say? Companies, including Apple, are increasing manufacturing in, in India, often at the expense of China. The UN report had already led to a flurry of stories analyzing whether India could become the more important, more economically powerful a Asian giant. That is the question. Yes, but. The economy is still not creating nearly enough jobs for all the young people entering the workforce. More than 80% of Indians polled in the UN report said India's population was already too high, with 63% saying economic issues tied to population growth were a top concern. They probably have to export people. While well, India's population is expected to keep growing in the 2060s, the fertility rate has gradually fallen over the several decades to 2.0 per woman, below the global average of 2.3. The UN expects the global population to climb from 8 billion to 9.7 billion by 2050, but then peak around 10.4 billion in the 2080s. Europe is the only region whose population will shrink between now and 2050. Hmm. Now, I've been telling you guys that for a while. Eastern Europe countries, including Bulgaria and Moldova, have among the, the fastest shrinking populations in the world due to large-scale immigration and low birth rates. By contrast, half of all global population growth over the, that period is expected to come in eight countries, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Egypt, Ethiopia, India, Nigeria, Pakistan, the Philippines, and Tanzania. The population of Sub-Saharan Africa is growing far faster than any other region and is expected to nearly double to 2.1 billion by 2050. The region's demographics look markedly different from every other region. Nigeria, for example, 43% of the population is under 15, while just over 3% is over 65, while the fertility rate per woman is 5.1. There's another big reason that the, the global population is growing. People are living longer, healthier lives. Yeah, for now. Life expectancy has jumped from 64 to 73 globally since 1990 and 52 to 64 in Africa. Those trends are expected to continue. Now, if you look at the chart, okay? If you look at the chart, and I'm not looking at it at the moment. <laughs> 
which I should be. If you look at the chart, what Quigley said, the most important demographic of age is working class age between 15 and 45, right? Or now between 15 and 54. That's for the present, which India has, right? They have the biggest group of, of, in this dark blue between the ages of 15 and 54. And, a sm and one of the smaller group of eight people over the age of uh, 65. So for the present, if you look at it for the present or upcoming, India should develop a little faster, right? Because of the working class people. They have the large group block of working class uh, age population. Okay. If you look at China and, and US, they're almost identical. Almost identical. Very little difference between the two. Very little difference between the two. The thing is, when it comes to the age of population, in fact, the United States is a little bit behind. Much like uh, Japan, why they're declining is because they're, they're people over 65 is, is such a huge chunk of their population and not productive. The least productive is uh, 0 to 15 and 65 and older, right? The medium blue is the most productive phase of any country's uh, GDP. That's like um, China and U.S. are actually almost equal, almost the same as far as productivity. That's why they're one and two. They have this huge uh, working capacity, even though the United States uh, productive population is actually shrinking. They import them to keep up with it. But the thing is, they would look more like Japan if they didn't. But China, why they're a powerhouse, right, and will be for, for a while, is because they have all those people in, in a productive age range. So you're going to actually see this coming in the future. That's how come Africa is the future, right? They have all these kids, right? 43% below the age of 15. Those, when they transition, they'll turn into these. See that little tiny marker at the end, which is uh, people over 65? Because those, those are not productive. Those are, uh, those are actually uh, liabilities. Whether you like it or not, old people are actually liabilities to the productive society. And Africa, which Nigeria actually represents, has a small minority of those people, right? And they have this big, huge chunk of people that are young, that are, that are actually going to stay alive and turn into, into these. So, so basically, these two are your present, China and the U.S. And India is next on the horizon. They're pretty close. And Africa is your future. And Japan is your past. It's for our demographics, just like Europe, that's your past. But this is a freebie for my folks on YouTube. Enjoy.